Hi folks, Richard Slay here with my G Marine Band harmonica and my backpack on location here at Spring Creek, um, right across the street from my house and uh, just enjoying a little bit of uh, blue sky and nature. And I wanted to play a cool little exercise you can do that you can work on your music theory if you're if you want to embed that a little deeper in your head. It's also good for uh, as a tongue switching exercise. And what it is is it takes the major scale. That's built into your uh, key of G harmonica, the G major scale. And we're going to go up in intervals. Uh, that is from one to two, back to one, back to three, one, four, one, five, one, six, one, seven, one, octave, one, and then back down. And I'll do it real slow and then I'll explain what I'm doing. So here you go. So I'm starting out of this side of my mouth. The This is my right side. This is my left side. I'm starting out on the left side of my mouth with my tongue over on the right. Uh, so I'm covering. When I lift my tongue, you get the chord above the note instead of the chord below the note. Okay. And then I am going. Those notes, da 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 da, one, two, three, four, are all out of this side of your mouth. Now, when you get to the fifth note, then you move your tongue over to the other side of your mouth and you catch the five out of the right hand side of your mouth. And then you finish the scale out of the right side of your mouth. So you start off here. Those notes are all with the tongue on this side. And then when we get to the next one, so that is blow four switching over to blow six. I'll do it this way. When I switch over to the other side of my mouth, I'll put my hand up, okay? That gives you a way to go up and down the harmonica and practice playing your intervals. So you can also explore these intervals in other ways, but this is a good way to get started. You can also think to yourself as you play the scale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if you get, just get used to using falsetto or whatever you need to do to sing it. Because if you do sing it, it also embeds that in your head in another, from another direction, makes it stick more. If you practice that exercise, it will give you a way to work on your tongue blocking and your tongue switching, as well as getting that major scale in your head in a different way.
Okay, that's it for today. Hope you find that useful. I'll be back with some more interval exercises. But if you've never done that one before, give it a go and see how you do with it. Over and out from Spring Creek, Central Pennsylvania. Have a great day.